Lizzie Zinni and today I am here with an exciting tag for you. I wonder what the theme could be. Hmm. The theme of today's tag is the Harry Potter spells book tag and I don't know I'm just I'm sure my Ravenclaw pride. Yeah baby. I don't have all of the things that I should have but you know we, we tried. Yeah so it's the spells tag today so I'm really excited. The original tag is by Turtle Sympathy and I'm just gonna crack into the questions because I'm super super excited to do this but mm. question one expecto patronum a childhood book connected to good memories i feel like you're not supposed to pick this series because this is the entire tag but it's so true so i'm picking the harry potter series by jk rowling because i used to listen to this on audiobook uh so much when i was a child i used to get them out from the library and my mum read them to me and my sister a lot when we were younger i remember studying this the fourth book like five million times so I really hate hearing the start of the fourth book. Just reading this and like lying on my mum's bed with my sister is like such a like fond memory. This is uh, my option for this one. I'm sorry that it's Harry Potter. Question two is Expelliarmus, a book that took you by surprise. For this one I found it a little hard to pick but I am going to go with Outlander by Diana Gabaldon because it is a favourite of mine but it took me by surprise in regards to how much I was going to love it. I sort of knew the concept of what was gonna happen when I bought it and I bought a beautiful edition. I just, I didn't realise how much I was going to fall in love with this series and the characters and the overall historical romance and fiction storyline. I, I love it so much and it's weaving in its real life events into the story and Scotland. I just, I love it so much and I just did not expect for me to feel this way about a book series. Question three is a prior incantanto. The last book you read. The last book I read was Rebel by Amy Tintin which is a sort of futuristic post-apocalyptic fantasy duology about people that die and come back as reboots who are stronger and are here to help. <laughs> I don't really know what the point of them living is. It was a really great book and I am on to Rebel, the second book in the series. That's the go with this one. Question four is Alohomora, a book that introduced you to a new genre. For this one I'm going with Divergent by Veronica Roth. This dystopian novel was all the rage back in like 2013, 2014. This was a new genre that I had not read before and I definitely have a couple of these types of books. So this was definitely an eye opener for me. I hadn't read anything like it before and it was an interesting time. It was an interesting time, wasn't it? Yeah. Question five is ridiculous. A funny book you've read. Now I haven't really read a lot of funny books I have to say I haven't read anyone's memoir that's funny or anything in particular but I mean a standout in the ones that I've read that are funny. Uh, no one other than Cassandra Clare. This is Clockwork Angel and I mean William Herondale is everything is he not and it's just so funny. The characters Magnus Bane is great. Gabriel and Gideon Lightwood are great. Even I guess Jem himself, Tessa, everyone. It's just all of her books are the same but I feel like in particular the Inf Infernal Devices series is pretty, it's pretty damn good. Question six is Sonorous, which I have no idea what this spell is about, honestly. But anyway, a book that everyone should know about. For this one, I'm going with Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I love this duology so much. I wanted to pick something a little less mainstream, but I thought I didn't know what else to pick. It wasn't like stupid. So I'm going with a good old classic that I absolutely love and adore, and I think that everyone should read it. I just, I think it's such a great cast of characters and just I don't know it's so much fun and adventure and mild romance and it's just everything I could want in a book I love this series and I love the genre that it's in it's just such a great book so definitely pick up Six of Crows. Obliviate! <laughs> Question seven a book or spoiler you wish you could forget. For this one I'm gonna double whammy it and say A Legion by Veronica Roth the third book in the series. I was majorly spoiled for this one and also I wish I could kind of forget that I read it because it was boring and I didn't enjoy it at all. Question eight, Imperio, a book you had to read for school. For this one, I'm gonna go with Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, probably the coolest book that I got to read for school because I don't know, it was actually like a modern day book even though I don't think I knew what the Hunger Games was yet, but I definitely read them all before I had to read them in school after I read the first one in year 10, I believe it was. So I thought I'd choose one that was actually relevant because I don't think I own any of the other ones except for Mao's Last Dance but that's about it. Like, school books are never that great, really, are they? But 
Hunger Games was like such an awesome one I got to read. Question nine is Crucio, a book that was painful to read. Now, I feel like there's a lot of options I could have chosen here, but I'm gonna go a little weird with this one because I just wanna show off the book even though I actually really hated it. And that one is Horror Store by Grady Hendrick. This had a very cool concept of it being set up like an Ikea manual. I think that it was really, really cool in the design concept, but the story was pretty lacking for me. I found myself really struggling to get through this one, but I mean, I wanted to read it because it's such a cool concept and also because I'm really bad at like giving up on books that I hate. Like I will continue to read them in misery until I have finished the book, but I'm getting better at if I'm not enjoying it that I just like don't read the rest of it. But this was one where I just, I continued to power through even though I had no idea what was going on about 100% of the time. And lastly, question 10. Avada Kedavra, a book that could kill. I didn't really know where to go with this one, but I'm gonna go with one that's killing the game, which is Because You Love to Hate Me, 13 short stories by booktubers and YA authors. I think it's such a cool collaboration. It's killing the booktube game because so many of our larger booktubers are featured in this book. But I think it's such yeah, a cool thing that we can have authors that we all have read books from and booktubers come together to write some little short stories together. I think that's just such a wicked idea for the community and to sort of, I don't know, get the community out there in a weird sort of way because people might pick this up and have no idea what's going on. But for us people that part of the community it's so cool and I hope that they continue to do this in future years with more booktubers because I think that would be so so awesome so that is it for my Harry Potter spells tag as I said I will link the original down below and all of my social medias and all the books that I talked about today will be down below I had so much fun dressing up for this in my sort of Harry Potter Ravenclaw pride moment here although my jumper is is very Gryffindor and I'm sorry about that but you know, I will buy a proper one one day. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next. Bye! Harry Potter book spells to- No, I looked at myself 100%. <laughs> Question one, Expecto Patronum. A- <laughs> Question three is prior- <laughs> Question three is prior in con- <laughs> Is a poker- po uh, po <laughs> Alohomora. <laughs> Divergent by Verona. <laughs> Divergent by. Di Fuck, what is happening? Dystopian! <laughs> I wanna die. I wanna die. A painful book you had to read. Wait, what? A book that kill. Nope.